Now this has got to be the coolest mechanical keyboard that I have ever got to use. And it is the Kick KR081 mechanical keyboard. It looks really, really heavy, but I can tell that it's a really nice keyboard to type on and I've been using for over a month right now. And let me tell you my thoughts all about it in today's video. Now, Kick or Chica, depending on how you want to call them, they are actually a pretty new startup company that's based in China and this is their very first mechanical keyboard. It's fully customizable, it's hot swappable, and you can order it in a bare bone package if you actually want to customize your own keys and keycaps. Now, this is the pre-built version that comes with gathering rig keys that they sent me and this is how it looks like it's made with cnc aluminum which is actually pretty high quality and it's really really heavy because together with the packaging it weighs 2.93 kilograms and if i were to measure the keyboard's weight alone i guess it would be around 2.9 it's just slightly lighter than the packaging because this is not really uh, a too heavy packaging right over here the keycaps right over here has a really nice retro feel to it it's really nice and has a really nice paint because it's pbt keycaps anyway so that um, even if you type for longer hours it wouldn't like grease that easily and paint wouldn't drop off easily after you use it for a long while now since they are jda keycaps you will realize that the keycaps actually has a curve it has a slight height that makes uh, typing more comfortable so as usual we got rgb on this thing you know why not mechanical keyboards nowadays come with rgb and what's really cool about the Kick KR081 is that it has this holes right over here that eliminates the RGB lighting onto your table if you lay it flat on the table just like this. Of so many keyboards that I've used, I think this is the cutest mechanical keyboard that I've ever come across. I mean, not in form of course, but their branding is a cat, right? So you, you obviously get some cat keycaps right over here, the escape key for instance. So you get this really nice kick branding on the escape key and even on the page out, page down, insert and uh, delete and insert uh, buttons right over here. It comes with these cute caps over here with this uh, uh, smiling cat, a box and a cat ball and the claw icon. So you can change these keycaps if you want to. You can swap it with the escape key if you actually want that. Now, of course, the Kick KR081 will support both Windows and Mac computers and Kick has been really kind enough to provide additional Mac keycaps inside the box to switch out the control, Windows and alternate keys if you want to use the keyboard with a Mac computer. The Kick KR081 will support up to three types of connection as in 2.4 gigahertz and there's a dongle that's right over here hidden in this really nice uh, magnetic metal cap right over here it's really cool and it also supports bluetooth connection for up to three devices and finally you get a wired connection as well just in case you don't have bluetooth or you don't want to use 2.4 gigahertz for the best transmission you get to use wired now to switch between the modes is pretty simple all you need to do is to deal with the switches right on the side of the keyboard now switching down will go into wireless mode either 2.4 gears or bluetooth and you will also need to uh, deal with the wheel that's right over here once you turn the wheel to the right it goes to bluetooth and you turn up to the left it goes up to 2.4 gigahertz it's pretty straightforward the wheel is actually clickable by the way you just need to press on it and you can switch between the function modes of the function row keys and of course the control windows alternate key now i'm going to show you a couple of functions on uh, my mac computer right over here and we are going to switch over to wired mode because Fortunately, there is a driver that works with Mac which some uh, mechanical keyboards don't really have right there because they usually only have apps for Windows and it's really cool that Kick has actually taken this into consideration. Now, this is how the app of the KR081 looks like. It's very straightforward and no flashy gimmicks right over here. Now, you can configure each and every single of the key with different functions and you can even set macro if you want to uh, on your games. Now, that's actually a pretty nice and straightforward too. It's probably one of the simplest uh, drivers that I've seen on mechanical keyboards. Now, of course, you got your lighting feature. This is where you can configure the keyboard's RGB lighting. Now, of course, you can still change uh, the keyboard's RGB lighting with, by, by pressing the function and enter key if you want to do so without the app but you only get to switch between a few uh, fixated RGB lighting uh, effects, right? So um, you got your macro function over here so this is where you can set macro and assign to the respective keys that you want to and finally there is the support tab to check for any driver or firmware updates it's just that straightforward now one thing that i just uh, probably think that kick could have improved on is that they could have actually 
uh, enable driver support when you connect the 2.4 gigahertz dongle because at this point of time it will only support the USB-C connection if you want to configure anything on the keyboard and that's I think uh, the downside of this keyboard that I've found so far now the KR081 has many functions that I would love to show you but there's just way too many so I'm just going to show you a couple of them. Now as you can see even though the function row keys do not have those multimedia keys but in fact it is already coded to work properly on Windows and Mac. Now to change the RGB lighting all you need to do is to press the function and enter keys so it goes to another light. This is now you know this light now reacts to the key and let's change that again and let's try the other one. Now this is the the row type RGB lighting effect. Let's change that again. Now this is like a, a, a racing team. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm just cycle again the lighting effects and it goes in this way right now. Let's do it again. And it's now per key. That's pretty cool. And finally it goes backwards. And there you go. Back to our usual rainbow RGB effect. All right, that's all pretty cool. And now let me just type on the keyboard to let you hear how quiet the keyboard really is. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Gateron rate switches because of the slightly harder actuation. But what I appreciate here is how stable the keyboard is as I'm hammering away and it is quieter than other Gateron rate keyboards I've used. This is all thanks to the gasket mount structure it has that features two sound absorption layers and a stabilizer. This keyboard doesn't weigh 2.9 kilograms for no reason. So there you have it. This is the Kick KR081. It's a really cool mechanical keyboard and it's cute as well. This is now available at Kick's online store for 249 US dollars if you want to pick the pre-built version. The barebone version is of course available for 220 dollars which you can pick it up as well on your store. And if you want a discount, I do have a coupon code below the description whereby you can score 20 dollars off this keyboard if you actually want to buy it. Now that's pretty much about my thoughts about this. I'm really liking it and I use it almost every day for my work and battery life has so far been really really good. I haven't been charging this uh, since I started using it a month ago. So yeah, that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so and I will see you guys in our next video.